I'm the product owner for mobile location confirmation. It's a new service from Visa that helps solve a customer pain point that I think a lot of people are familiar with. It's where a cardholder makes an out-of-pattern purchase, such as when they're traveling, and their issuer accidentally declines that transaction. Obviously, this is inconvenient for cardholders, and it can be embarrassing. So that's why we created mobile location confirmation. So let's talk about how it works. There's really three main components. There's an API, there's an SDK, and there's a tag Visa's going to send you in the VisaNet authorization message. So to start out, cardholders will download their issuer's mobile app or accept an update and agree to share their location with Visa for this service. When they do that, you'll call the Cardholder Enrollment API, which is in the Visa Developer Portal. That message is pretty simple. You'll be letting Visa know which PAN is enrolling, which device is enrolling, and whether or not they're enrolling or de-enrolling in the service. When Visa replies back to you that that message has been successful, you'll then call the Start Service method for an SDK that Visa will provide you. We'll provide that SDK in source code format to make it easier to integrate. Once that start service method is called, the SDK will start sending location to Visa on a regular basis. It's about once a day or more frequently when the cardholder's traveling. Visa will store that information up in VisaNet for use when the cardholder makes a transaction. Now let's fast forward from that one-time cardholder opt-in to when the cardholder's out shopping. So they swipe their card at a merchant. When that transaction gets to Visa, Visa's going to compare in real time that merchant location to the phone location perform some analysis so that we can populate a tag in the real-time message to you, the issuer, letting you know that the phone and merchant are in the same location. You can then use that tag to approve the transaction instead of declining it. So now that you know how the service works, the way you can understand how to roll this out to your cardholders is by navigating to the Visa Developer website and going to the MLC section. There you'll find a guide for implementing the service as well as an API specification. If after reviewing that information, you want to offer this to your cardholders, you can contact your Visa representative. They can help you actually sign up for the service and get production certificates.